This it's, conference will now be recorded. It's on all our all of our applications as well as the ordinance. Uh, now there are some portions of fees that under certain circumstances are refundable, but not the zoning application. Gotcha. Actually, the fees don't actually cover the cost of that anyway. So as soon as we advertise no, it, we're, we're, we're behind. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so we got three more minutes. So, boy. Hey, this is, Roy, can this I is, ask you a question? This is a good early arriving group. We have three <laughs> more minutes. Roy, yes, can I ask you a question? Does okay. it make it, I know that they withdrew, so it's kind of um, moot, but does it make any difference that the tax ID for this property? Um, was on Rock Park Circle, but the actual street sign no, was it Rock really Park does uh, that we copied for the, the only the only place that got duplicated was on the, the mailed out notices. It was not duplicated anywhere else. Uh, our people, you know, they just took it directly from the application and uh, but that, that was only one of several places it was advertised. And it, it was incorrect, but we do have some places in, in Lago Vista where you'll see a discrepancy between the street name or the street spelling, and it'll be different ways at different locations. So, you know, that's that's what is normally referred to as an informality, as long as there's no reason why they could confuse it with another location, we, we're good. I was just wondering if it was advertised on one on 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 the um, circle, and an interested citizen was looking for the property and couldn't find it because it was actually the street was marked Cove. That would somehow. Yeah. I, when when you do a search on on anything that I'm aware of, it it'll still get you to the same place. Okay. Now, like I said, there are some you know there are some occasions in Lago Vista where that would be relevant, but that. This didn't happen to be one of them. Okay. okay. Oh, still got another minute to go. That's all right. Although it looks like the only only folks. Uh, let's see. Shalane sent me an email and said she might be a few minutes late, but we'll go ahead and start right on time. Let's see. Okay. And it looks like Howard's in by phone. Are you out there, Howard? Uh, Mr. Hoover, is that you out there? I see something that says Howard and it's got a phone next to it rather than the usual uh, markings. If it is you, we cannot hear you. He just left me a voice message. I'm calling him back. There he is. There he is. There he is. Now I can see him. Can't hear him still, but I can see him. Okay, it is uh, 3 one by my computer's time. So I'm gonna call this meeting to order of the, uh, this is the May 3rd regular meeting of the Board of Adjustments scheduled for three o'clock. It's now 3 one so I'm gonna call this meeting to order. The first uh, listed 
Um, item on the agenda is citizens comments for non-agenda items. Um, I see a couple of folks out there that are not on the board. And um, uh, if it's for a non-agenda item, this is where you, this is where you would uh, be allowed to speak. Would um, it looks like a Mr. Ani Clem or Miss the Clems <laughs> uh, collectively, and a Mr. Uh, or Larry Russell. Uh, Mr. Clem, I'll, I'll go to you since uh, looks like your microphone's on. Do you do you have a comment you want to make? Well, we're here to um, discuss the variance for the Firefly Cove okay. and on Rock Park. Just uh, as a point of order, because we don't want to—I don't want to waste your time. That that application has been withdrawn. So uh, there, there's, yep, yeah, it's been withdrawn, and we um, we just received word of it today. Um, so we'll be meeting for some other reasons, but we will not be, that that's no longer on the agenda. Okay, great. Okay, Thanks. and uh, 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 Roy, they, they withdrew the application, is that correct? Yes, sir, that is correct, and so, we have so it they, right. So if they resubmit, they gotta, A, they gotta pay for it again, and B, they gotta, we gotta notice everybody again, right? Yes, sir, that is correct. Okay, so, uh, that way, we don't have to waste your time uh, if you don't want, but you're certainly welcome to sit around and watch the uh, the fun, the rest of the fun if you so intend. Um, okay, appreciate um, it. And uh, only other non-committee um, folk out there I see is a Mr. Larry Russell. Do you, uh, is there anything you wanted to comment on, sir? Uh, no, I was also here for the same uh thing was to listen in on the uh, ex exception for uh, okay. fireflies so i'm good Great. thank you you betcha thanks okay we'll move on to the next agenda item then um which is to consider the approval of the following minutes uh minutes for december 17th 2020 in the minutes for january 4th 2021 this is on the consent agenda so um, we'll approve them both, uh, assuming I get a motion to do so, and uh, we'll do it. At, we'll do it at a batch. A lot of us weren't even on the committee at that time, so hopefully, uh, one of you folks that's been around a while will will make the motion in the second, and we'll go forward from there. A motion to approve. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Uh, that uh, motion carries unanimously. The Those two uh, meeting uh, minutes will be approved and uh, submitted to the um, uh, city secretary. Okay. Uh, we're going to move on now to business items. Um, and uh, first, first up there is the comments from the City Le Council Liaison. Uh, Ms. Marion, do you have anything you'd like to say to the group? I uh, don't have anything really big except to let folks know that um, you're probably aware, I think Suzanne sent the email to everybody, right, that she was going to be, um, had taken a job in Dallas and was going to be relocating. So, um, uh, Judge Durbin and I uh, intend to have a new Board of Adjustment member named at this Thursday's regular City Council meeting. So the next time that we meet, we should have um, again, a full committee. And that's all I have, unless you guys have anything for me. Okay, and if any of you have any suggestions, shoot them to me via email, please. Uh, it just has to be somebody who submitted an app. To have had, had to have, they have to have an application on file with the city with Board of Adjustment checked as one of their choices. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. We'll move on to the uh, uh, discussion and possible action regarding the day of the month and or the time for the scheduled meeting uh, of the Lago Vista Board of Adjustment. Um, 
You know, currently we have our regular meetings are at three o'clock on a Monday, the first Monday of the month. Um, this uh, that time is is convenient for for uh, some folks and for um, those that are still working and haven't had the and have have not had the luxury to retire yet. Um, at times, uh, these meetings during the middle of the day make it rather um, cumbersome. Um, so uh, I believe there's a suggestion to possibly move it to uh, the same day, but uh, the first Monday of the month, but the uh, six six thirty at night. Um, but um, I'm we're open for discussion here, folks. Uh, I'm going to open it up to you guys for discussion, and we'll we'll take it from there. Uh, Ms. Uh, uh, TJP, Don Joe Pitt, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Um, all right, Mr. Durbin, uh, and how formal we'll be. We're being. Um, I just was going to add on that um, for me, even though I'm retired, I have um, a lot of stuff going on in animals and orchards and berry patches and hopefully great and great if it's daylight i'm usually out working so three in the afternoon is daylight and sometimes i don't get back in the house until 8 30 9 o'clock uh so a later a later time would uh definitely be better for me even though i'm not working a nine to five okay or anything. all right um do maybe it's best to ask it this way do are there any objections to moving it to the evening i personally i prefer the three o'clock but that's me i i would prefer the three o'clock that's been working out great for me i i understand it this this is a this is something that i've i've um had kind of mixed feelings on either way but i do understand that on you know on a lot of the citizen committees if we schedule them during the day and i don't know if anybody any of you all have been watching the city council meetings um uh it, you'll notice that at every city council meeting they have been replacing one or two council members or, or committee members or board members or or commission members because they've been uh, dropping out like flies and um, my one of my concerns is that is is if we if we leave it in the middle of the day we're precluding a lot of a lot of folks that that are working um, and um, uh, you know they they I, I I think they have the same I'd like to hope they'd have the same right to representation on these committees as as uh, uh, those that are, you know, that um, are, are a little more free with their time. Um, and I understand everybody's time is their time and everybody's time is is um, valuable and important. Um, but I'm I'm hoping that we can we can uh, attract you know, because we've we've lost a member here that we can attract a good me another good member. But if if our if our pool is limited to folks that are retired, it 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 is uh, it does kind of tie us down a bit. Um, yeah. And I suppose that op the pool's open to shift workers and stuff like that. But um, uh, you know, out, out out here in Lago, we got a lot of folks that commute and. They get back at six six thirty, um, and quite frankly, guys, it's getting harder and harder to find people to fill all of these all these committee posts. This um, our city loves committees, and they seem to be appointing. In fact, they're creating a new one this weekend. It looks like so, or this Thursday. So, you know, we're we're we're, <clears throat> we're competing for warm bodies for one thing, and. Uh, number two, it's uh, um, like I said, I, I don't want to. We have a younger demographic moving out here, and and um, um, it's 
if if there's no objections, uh, I mean, if the objections don't involve conflicts with other stuff, then then you know let's let's um, uh, let, let's really try to give this some consideration. Um, Do we have a, uh, a motion to uh, move this, move our meeting to the first Monday of the month, the regular meeting to the first Monday of the month at 6.30 rather than three o'clock? I'll make that motion. Mr. Kaysen, thank you. Uh, anybody second? I'll second it. You'll second it? Okay. Yes. Um, and this one doesn't require a supermajority; it just requires a majority. So we're we're in good shape. We've got seven members here. We have a quorum. Um, all in favor? Raise your hands. Aye. Aye. One, two, three, aye. four. Opposed? Aye. One, two. <clears throat> Motion carries. Um, one, two, three, four to two. Yes, uh, Judge Durbin, Durbin, just a quick correction. There are six committee members present because we have a vacancy. Right. Oh, we only have seven. We have eight. Oh. We've got eight. We got eight members. Who's who else is missing? Fred. Oh, Fred. Okay. But we still have a quorum. Um, yeah. and it carried oh. four to, the motion carried four to two. So we will be moving our meetings to uh, 6.30 on Mondays, uh, the first Monday of the month um, going forward. Uh, appreciate your cooperation. And um, for those who would rather have it other time, I, I, I appreciate, appreciate any cooperation you can give us going forward. Um, thank you. Okay, um, as far as the public hearing and action, the application for variance grant 21-1820.zon-var uh, 21 was withdrawn by Firefly Cove, so we will not be hearing it, um, which moves us to the future agenda items. Does uh, anybody want to have anything they want to discuss or make sure that we get on a future agenda item? I have a comment on one, and maybe that'll get things started. Um, we've talked about before possibly making um, um, suggestions regarding changes of ordinances to um, building and standards or PNZ or the council. And <clears throat> I mean, quite, quite frankly, I don't know that that is our place on this board. I mean, we are we're, we are pretty much an, inf an enforcement, um, an arbiter of, uh, of facts type of a board rather than an advisory board. Um, I think if they were to ask us what percentage of our, of our hearings came from, um, you know, fence disputes or six foot fences rather than eight foot fences and that sort of thing, well, we could certainly tell them, um, but I, I, I don't know that it, I don't feel in my in my mind that it's appropriate really to make those sort of suggestions to advisory boards. Um, uh, I mean, hell, that's their job. Um, we'll help them out, and you know, certainly give them some information, that sort of thing. But uh, uh, I, I. I, for one, don't want to get in the advisory business. In fact, I, I think that 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 some of the things that are split up now because of ordinance, um, um, for instance, uh, you know, um, by uh, getting a variance to the height ordinance is now called a special use permit and goes to somebody other than than the board of adjustments and things like that. I would. My any suggestion I would have would be to would be to return some of those things that are traditionally variances and are variances other than being 
called something else back to this back to this group um the the city council has to um approve everything the advisory committees do even if it's the granting of a variance so they've created more work for themselves and um uh any in, so you know if, if they ever asked me for advice it would be let's start calling variances variances again and and get them back in here and a city council it'll save your time and you know planning and zoning and and building and and standards can get back to to being advisory committees which is uh or, or commissions which is essentially what they are um so uh but that's that's just my thoughts and i'm certainly open to anybody else's but um uh, that's about the only discussion we'd had about future agendas up to this point. If there's anything else, I'm w willing to hear it. Yes, sir, Mr. Kaysen. You know, I'm not sure that uh, planning and zoning, you know, they're not they're not down here dealing with people that are asking for variances and hearing the reasons and, and having to tell them because we have this particular seven conditions and, and and, and they have to be so strict. I mean, they're not they're not dealing with that. I'm not sure that uh, they really know what's going on, and and they've got their own problems, and they're dealing with a lot. And it may be that if we don't sort of initiate this a little bit, nothing will ever get done. That's true. That 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 that's true. I just don't know that it's from our level to initiate. Um, I mean, I think that's a suggestion that, uh, uh, and I'm assuming by your your comments that you you agree with me to the point that um, a these these different uh, wow what's that? <clears throat> Some, they're different groups. They also wind up applying different standards at times, and they get. They get, or they get other standards confused with what needs to be met to grant a variance. And, um, you know, but, but that, I think that's a city council thing that, that I, it's a suggestion that I would like um, our liaison to, to possibly start discussing with some of her city council members as to what their thoughts are, because, you know, I, I don't know if you've seen the, the list of rules that gets submitted out now for audience participation as in council meetings, but it it appears that that some people on council are of the belief that it's the audience participation that's making those meetings so long. And quite frankly, there's too much on the agenda. That's what's making them so long. And and if we're the final arbiter of stuff. That stuff doesn't need to be on the agenda, um, and um, but um, anyway, it's it, and I I think you guys will have to understand that it probably is going to be a bit of a squabble because some folks are very protective of what they have control over and what they're involved with now, and and may not want to give it up. But but my suggestion. To, my suggestion to city council, um, council Marion, and I hope it's a suggestion as a group, is that things that are traditional variances get returned to being treated as variance, variances by the group that deals with variances, which is this one. Um, and building in standards and 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 planning and zoning can get back to doing what they what they what they do. Because I know a lot of those things cause great angst and turmoil in some of those uh, some of those meetings, and um, we are. Uh, uh, but I, I think that that's something we might be able to help that with. And um, you know, this is a future addenda item. How about I put that on as a discussion item for our next meeting? That sound that way everybody can. I kind of threw it out there. I threw, kind of threw it out there, and so nobody had a chance to prepare. I don't. I don't want that. I want to be as fair to every member as, as I can. Uh, Mr. Kasten, 
Now, now you've been on, the, are you still on the PNC committee? No, I'm on the uh, building and standards. Building standards, right. But, but I will agree that, you know, whatever we do in this respect should be city council driven. Yes. So, you know, I, you know, I would throw that to Shalane too. It's to like it's city council. If you want us to work on, you know, at, at least putting something together that, that says, these are the problems we're having. These are, you know, people are coming to us for variances that we can't grant that probably it wouldn't be that bad if we did grant them, uh, <clears throat> you know, but, but we can't do it within the context of what we got. If you want to see a subcommittee between us and P and Z, you know, that that's, I guess y'all are going to have to drive that. Yeah. And um, um, the only thing I could say, suggest is that we put it down as a discussion item and then um, ap after discussion, we can possibly move it to a, to essentially a, 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 a vote of the group that we think that this is a good idea and then that can be submitted. We'll, we need, that way, that way we give Ms. Marion as much ammunition as she can, as we're capable of doing. Um, you know, that's a, because uh, if you're on building and standards, you're aware that, you know, <clears throat> although building size is, it, the, in fact, the thing today was supposed to be about a building size variance, but for some reason, height is not called a variance. It's a, that's a special use permit, which just is insane to me. Makes no sense whatsoever. Um, but uh, um, I think if we put it down for discussion and then I can probably get it cohesively worded in some sort of a, of a, <clears throat> I don't, I don't even, I don't even know what sort of, uh, I guess we can have a board um, resolution or directive or something that we can, with, that, you know, is voted on and so that they can see it's not just um, me yakking or, me and Mr. Kaysen or everybody, if, if, every, if everybody winds up agreeing on it. Miss uh, John Cho Penn, please. Um, uh, thank you, Rob. I, I was actually gonna bring this up too, so I'm really glad that you brought it up. And, and I agree with putting it on the agenda. At least that way we could have a, a cohesive bullet point of concerns kind of a thing that, that where it could be presented to the city council. And uh, I also wanted to ask you, you mentioned another possible, another committee that was being formed and I didn't get the name of it. If you could give me that the height adjustment was going to be in front of now. Oh, no, uh, no. Height, variance was, well, height, height is already goes to uh, building and standards. And, that, oh. and, to, and to show you how that, how odd that is, if it's appealed. But the new committee name. Oh, oh, the new committee, I think it's an emergency planning uh, committee. It's on the agenda for Thursday, emergency preparedness committee, something like that. Um, but uh, to show you how crazy it, it is right now, if a, if a height variance, well, which is called a special use permit, um, goes to uh, building and standards and they vote on it and whether the city appeals it or the or the applicant appeals it rather then that comes back to us so they've they've created these other layers of procedures that just don't seem to make a whole lot of sense um, it sounds pretty convoluted and it, uh, it seems to that oftentimes, whenever things start getting divvied up from what appears to be a nice line of vision, it's usually, or often at the very least, due to some sort of special interest or special problem that popped up. And well, um, yeah, I, I was, don't think I, that that's necessarily on, a good I was on this committee when some of that stuff started to change back five, six years, six years ago, seven years ago. And I, I didn't. I wasn't crazy about it then, and and I'm still not crazy about it because it, it just and it was all completely different councils, so it's none of the current council's fault at all. And I'm not throwing any bones that way, but but it was um, um, it was pretty fishy smelling. Um, and uh, um, so anyway, it's it's. It, you know, the, the state pretty much designed the system 
for the Board of Adjustment to hear variances. Now, planning and zoning, if somebody's going to use a house for something differently, I mean, if they want to take a garage and, 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 you know, you can pretty much do anything you want to in it, as long as it's for your own personal use and build a, build furniture in it, then that's, you know, that's, that's fine. But if they want to build furniture and sell it out of there, then, then that's where conditional use comes into my, in my mind, because that's, a different use of the property rather than residential, but but all the size doesn't that, doesn't that require to be able to operate a business from yeah, but, from and, where, and, and that's really a, a change in zoning rather than a granting mm -hmm. a variance to an ordinance, which is which is what we do. Um, and, and I and, I, and I'm, I'm hoping I was, it gets back here. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's kind of where I was going with my reference to uh, the. Uh, the, the the subdividing of things is 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 uh, in my experience anyway oftentimes due to some sort of a special interest and I don't necessarily mean that as something fishy it just it becomes somebody made a, decess, a, a suggestion because of some sort of special circumstances for whatever reason and uh, rather than maintain a a clean line, so to speak, it gets broken up and divvied off over here. And then the whole process becomes more and more convoluted because that's a building process that gets built upon. Uh, so well, uh, is, yeah, I there's definitely a, there's agree. An old, there's an old saying in, 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 in law, and that is sometimes, sometimes folks get presented with bad facts. And if they make a law around those bad facts, they wind up with bad law. And so I don't know what I don't. <clears throat> I have a feeling why I know why they did it back then. But in, in any case, we'll let's uh, let, let's just put this down for a discussion item for the next agenda, and then we'll move forward from there. Uh, is there anything else anybody else would like to say? I kind of threw that one out of nowhere, and um, I didn't expect anybody to be as prepared for it as you two were. But <laughs> um, let's. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and get prepared for the next time. And if there's something else anybody else would like on the agenda, please let me know and we'll stick it on there. Um, if, nope. Okay. Um, that is pretty much all I have for uh, uh, on the agenda this time. Um, how's that? How about this for a nice quick meeting? Um, do I have any motions <laughs> to adjourn? I'm open to them. I make a motion to adjourn. Any second? I'll second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. <laughs>